From the Washington Times, I'm Ramsey Touchberry. Iowa Republicans say the party's presidential nominating caucuses will be held January 15th on the federal holiday honoring Martin Luther King Jr. That puts the first votes of the 2024 election a little more than six months away as the GOP tries to reclaim the White House. White House candidates have campaigned in Iowa since last winter, but what's changed is the DNC's election calendar dropping Iowa as its first contest. Democrats have proposed holding a caucus on the same day as the Republicans and allowing participants to vote for president by mail-in ballot. But Iowa Democrats have said they may not immediately release the results. That could allow the state party to still hold the first in the nation caucus without defying a new election year calendar endorsed by President Biden and approved by the DNC. It mandates for South Carolina to replace Iowa in the leadoff spot and kick off primary voting on February 3rd. Utah Governor Spencer Cox is urging his party to, quote, turn the page on the former president in a quest to nominate a GOP presidential candidate, quote, who can win. The Republican governor is one of several prominent GOP voices who have expressed concern about Donald Trump's electability. Cox said on CBS's Face the Nation, quote, I'm really hopeful that we can turn the page and try something else, someone who can win, which I think is important. There are six current or former Republican governors running for president in the crowded primary field. That includes Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who trails frontrunner Trump by an average of 32 points. The other GOP White House hopefuls with governor on their resume include North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, former Indiana Governor Mike Pence, and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. For these stories and all the news, visit us at WashingtonTimes.com.